hello dear is medical friends today i have come here with a topic general introduction to microbiology for all biology students well here first of all we shall deal with the definition of microbiology and then go through the general history introduction to bacteria bacterial classifications morphology of bacteria nutrition reproductions and useful or harmful activities by bacteria well after bacteria we shall deal with virus fungi algae and all other microbes not to say all some of the microbes important for us well first of all what is microbiology so there is a very nice technique break can dance well let's break the word microbiology it can be broken into micro then bias and then logos Micro means that which is which is not visible by naked eye, and bios means life, logos means study. Thus, microbiology can be defined as the science dealing with the minute living things which are not visible by naked eye. Here we study the morphology, pathology, and physiology, or everything about the microbiology. Well, first let's see here what does micro microbes include. It includes fungi, bacteria, protozoa, algae, and viruses. All the things that are not seen by our naked eye. All that living things. Well, mm, what do you say? Are all microbes pathogenic or beneficial? All microbes are not pathogenic. Some are pathogenic, while many are beneficial. Well, pathogenic uh, microbes. Can I have some light? Pathogenic like uh, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, etc., etc., and in beneficial, beneficial, you must have heard that uh, Lactobacillus is used in curd making, and not only this much, many uh, many other bacteria are beneficial. Many other microbes are beneficial. Do you know one thing that uh, the most part of our body contains microbes? But they do not harm our body. But they maintain the environment. Do you know how they protect our body? Well, let's see. What happens? कि उन जब ने कुनी पनी माइक्रोब ले हमारे बॉडी को कुनी ठाउ मा कुनी प्लेस लिए कौन सा? जस्ट लेकर दा कुनी एक्सटर्नल माइक्रोब्स त्यहाँ आयर अटैक गर्न सकते हैं ना? And that particular part becomes सेफ एंड के लिए तब पहले सुनो सुनो यूजिंग एंटीसेप्टिक डिस्ट्रॉयज यूजफुल माइक्रोब्स और ये अपनी सुनी होला कि धरे जो डी सेंटेजर यूज करने होना धरे डिसइंफेक्टेंट हरो यूज करने होना और यो एंटीसेप्टिक हरो ले अपनी यूजफुल माइक्रोब्स लाई मार सा अब तेती वेला क्यों होना था यूजफुल माइक्रोब्स त्यां � now when the harmful microbes attack, it is certain to cause an infection. And similar thing happens with antibody, uh, antibiotics. And do you know one thing? Most funny thing. La, ek channel ka gappi sabhi gari halam. Hamaru intestine maa vitamin B12 now ne bacteria haroon chan. When we take antibiotics, they get destroyed. And thus, what happens? There is lack of vitamin B. There becomes lack of vitamin B12. Okay. Now let's go through the general history of the microbiology. In the history, first of all, there comes the name of Sir Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur. By the name Pasteur, we should remember that pasteurization of milk. Louis Pasteur gave us the pasteurization of milk, and he is known as the father of microbiology. He gave us uh, further fermentation principle and germ theory, which is too much famous. While germ theory is known, abiogenesis theory is disapproved. And uh, very famous, last but not least, he discovered the cholera, anthrax, and rabies vaccine. And for this, let's remember it as CAR. At the red CAR, C A R CAR. Okay, wait. Well, Louis Pasteur, P Pasteur, P Pasteurization of Milk. Yes, and we, your Pasteur Institute is located in Paris. Well, 
and he is known as father of microbiology remember this your father your fermentation he gave germ theory and disapproved proved disapproved abogenesis theory next and in this history of microbiology the second big uh, the second big scientist come here that is robert koch he is known as father of modern micro microbiology remember that Louis Pasteur is known as father of microbiology whereas robert koch is known as father of modern microbiology how did he give why this uh, why this uh, why is he important for oh wait he is also known as father of bacteriology well what did he give why is he important for he is important for koch postulate and koch bacilli this koch bacilli is mycobacterium tuberculosis which causes uh, uh, tb well then uh, cholera bacilli and he gave the culture medium solid he gave solid culture medium for bacteria or microbes you can say um, but how uh, is liquid culture medium then and who gave that liquid culture medium well liquid culture medium was given by louis pasteur sir louis pasteur gave the liquid culture medium well for now um, let's stop microbiology here and in next class we shall go further with bacteriology